Hey Scorpio, how you doing? Gonna be doing your reading here for November. Let's see what is coming in for you guys. This is a general read, so take what resonates, leave the rest out here. Let's see what's going on here for Scorpios. Let's see what's going on for Scorpio. What message do we have here for November? We do have the Nine of Wands coming out, Sag Energy. Nine of Wands is boundaries, uh, but it's also not trusting a situation. So let's see, let's see what this is all about here. All right, so let's see what the challenge is for Scorpio. Maybe that's what you're doing in November too, is kind of working on your boundaries, um, you know, protecting your energy. Maybe, you know, in the past you were giving a lot and now it's like time to focus on yourself. So um, establishing boundaries so people don't take advantage or, you know, assume that you're there for them all the time, you know, stuff like that. So let's see the challenge here for Scorpio. We have the two of pentacles and... Um, Twos and everything is always making a decision, but the pentacles energy, I always look at it as like, a, you know, trying to juggle different things here. So maybe there is a lot going on to where you're trying to juggle, you know, your work situation, your home situation, and maybe you're trying to balance things out here. We do see the devil underneath here, Capricorn energy. Um, doesn't have to be bad energy here. It might be that you're obsessing over um, or thinking something of too much or trying to accomplish something. Maybe you're trying to do a lot when when you need to um also you know don't give your energy out that much you know what i mean um hopefully i say that right but i mean it's like you know sometimes we get caught up with an energy where or you know in times where we want to accomplish so much in one day it's like we can't do that and sometimes that leaves us into a point where at the end of the day we go like oh yeah you know i want to do this this and this but i wasn't able to complete you know what i wanted to do because i'm all over the place so maybe that is the energy that i'm seeing here for you scorpio so Let's see the recent past here. We do have the Four of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Now the Four of Cups, you know, this could be, I mean, this is nostalgia. This is looking back at the past, um, not really seeing the opportunity here. But I feel like in the recent past, you've, you're you starting to see this opportunity. Um, again, this is going to be different. This could be in your personal life. This could be in your work situation, career, whatever. But it's like you're starting to see that fourth cup and you're starting to see that and treat it like an ace of cups energy it's like it's an opportunity to you for you to work on yourself an opportunity for you to work on things that you want to do instead of focusing your energy on things that um you know we're not that great for you and you have the magician underneath here as well so it's like time to i feel like you're getting into an energy of, of making big changes here scorpio um happy birthday by the way happy birthday um your focus here the emperor look at that doesn't matter the gender it's just the masculine energy you're focusing on yourself here this is you finding out who you are your worth you know what you want i feel like the month of november is you um you know making changes necessary here okay um i see the three of swords here so maybe there's something here that you're healing from but also you know the three of swords i'm reading intuitively so it's like you're getting away from any sort of heartbreak or uh, you know, avoiding from getting any sort of into negative thinking. Um, and I feel like a lot of you guys are trying to stay optimistic about the future and, and trying to keep things positive as well. So let's see the possibilities here for Scorpio. We have the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. And let me see the near future. The Ace of Cups. We were just talking about the Ace of Cups, didn't we? So Nine of Pentacles, I mean, this is a movement forward in a direction. Again, you know, it could be with your finances, but it's a very slow energy. Um, but I feel like, you know, in this deck, you can see the card here and the Pentacles. It's like, because you know your value and you're focusing on yourself and you have the Ace of Cups here. Now, this is filling up your own cup, but for some of you guys, this could be a new opportunity in, in love as well. But, you know, it's like with the Knight of Pentacles, it's like you're taking your time here. This is not a rush. This is not you rushing into things and wanting to complete everything in the month of november it's like a start of something so if anything i can feel that you're you're choosing yourself or you're choosing to focus on what you want to do but you're not um you're not rushing into it you know you have the tower here scorpio energy um some changes a lot of changes going on here for you scorpio let me see your power what's going on here Ten of Cups, you're focused on your happiness here. Now, if you're with someone, you know, you're married and 
you know, Ten of Cups here, you're focused on your family, your home environment, your foundation. It, you know, if, if it's not that, if it's not about someone here, you're just focused on yourself and your happiness. And it's whatever you define as your happiness, right? So it could be anything. You don't have to be, um, you know, you can see them with the kids playing around with someone, you know, they're together and everything like it doesn't have to be that. It's just whatever makes you happy. Okay. And we have the star underneath here as well. So moving towards wish fulfillment, I feel like uh, a lot of you guys are just making the change to move away from, you know, this energy here, this, this stuff that has not, things that have not fulfilled you in the past here. Let's see your environment. The queen of wands, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. You know, the environment here with the Queen of Wands like that, it's like, uh, the Queen of Wands is like, uh, you know, it's like a celebrity, right? You're taking care of yourself. You're kind of focusing on what you want, um, you know, in, in anything. This could be a project here. This is be, uh, or you could be very dedicated into completing tasks. Like I said, you know, the Two of Pentacles here, a lot going on, right? That's your challenge of the month. It's like you you have all this energy to make big changes, but it's like, I feel like if there's any message coming in this in this reading for you, it's like try not to do so much, you know, um, because it is it, it is something about um, long term success, not short term success here. And the Queen of Wands um, is an energy of focusing on what they want. They go get what they want. It is a fire type of energy. But at the same time, you can see she's smiling and having a good time. She got the wand up in her hand. And she's like, I got the ideas. I know what I want, but I'm going to go get it on my time. It's like getting into this energy of having fun a little bit here, you know, not taking things so seriously here. Four of Wands, spending time with friends, family, you know, uh, home environments here. Time to enjoy a little bit here, okay? Let's see the hopes and fears. What is the hopes and fears here for Scorpio? We have the world. So there is a cycle ending and a new one beginning here for you. Uh, but it's also in the hopes and fears area. So you know, this is something that you're really pushing and wanting a new beginning, you know, but it's like at the same time, I just feel like there's, you know, it's you working on closing these cycles out. I feel like the month of November is like you not, it's not like one of those things where you're just moving into an entirely new beginning. Like you're already in a new, like, I'll control, I'll delete. It's like you are on this new beginning, this new journey, but you are still working at closing out stuff here. You know what I mean? Because it doesn't, like closing out stuff from the past doesn't happen overnight. Like you would, you would hope it does, but most of, most of us still have to work through things and deal with stuff here from the past, all right? So it's a month of like shifting in more of a positive direction and shifting in that direction you want to move towards, but it's going to take a little bit of time here. But there's definitely cycles ending here, all right? So let me see the potential outcome. Potential outcome here for Scorpio. <clears throat> we have the Nine of Swords. And again, I'm reading intuitively here, but I do pick up a little bit of stress going on in the month of November, maybe even sleepless nights here. We have Justice at the bottom of the deck, Libra energy. So, I mean, you're coming off this, this uh, energy of wanting, like I said, juggling too much. You see how that matched up there? It was like... Too much on your plate, Nine of Swords energy, a lot on your mind, maybe even uh, not getting enough sleep here. That's what I like about tarot is because you can kind of see future energy here and you can you can fix this. This is something that just because you see the Nine of Swords here, you could you now that you hear it, you're probably not going to be in that Nine of Swords because you you know you can find yourself there if you're juggling too much and trying to accomplish too many tasks or trying to. Uh, you know, focus too much on making big improvements that you stress yourself out and you start burning yourself out. And this causes anxiety and nightmares and, you know, all this stuff because you're stressed on trying to make some sort of change here. But where, really what you're focused on is trying to balance things out for yourself here. It's really what I feel like the month of November is uh, should be focusing on. Um, again, it's a birthday month for you, so it's like, you know, needing to have fun, getting into that, loving yourself and taking, you know, go go spoil yourself a little bit here for your birthday month, man. Like, just enjoy time with friends, family, and stuff like that. Like, whatever you're working on here is going to, is going to move forward for you, but I feel like, look at these cards. These, this is all about you. The Knight of Pentacles, money's going to come in for you. It's coming, it's going to be there, but 
that two of pentacles here again that is the challenge that's trying to juggle too much here all right let me just get a card on the two of pentacles five of pentacles you're trying to see there's an energy of trying to see the opportunities where is this finances coming in where is this where's this new job where's this where's that right so be aware of that again this is just a caution that you don't want to be in you know that five of pentacles energy of like losing hope or you know something's not coming in for you or you know just being in this 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 um energy of uh feeling hopeless you know like things are not moving forward so it's a caution not saying that is your energy and you're being in that energy but it's something to look out for because i feel like again it just being this message is repeating now because it's all about you focusing on yourself and focusing on just doing stuff that you enjoy doing um and trying to avoid getting into these energies it's nine of swords and juggling too much here ten of wands at the bottom of the deck as well let me get this three cards overall on this reading yeah, if there's any message here for you, Scorpio, just try to um, take it slow. Knight of Pentacles energy. Just go, you know, I, I don't want to say go with the flow because I feel like some of you guys are working on projects and making things happen here. But it's like, um, you know, you kind of still have to go with the flow. You know what I mean? It's like you don't want to push yourself so much. You have the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. We have the Devil, the Star, and the Five of Wands here. So, again, the Devil showed up twice in your reading. So, I'm not picking up any sort of, like, I mean, for some of you guys, maybe there is some shadow work here. But I'm just picking up more of an obsessive type of energy, wanting to keep, you know, there's something about, like, this engine is just kind of is going now, you know? With the Star being over here, it's like... Some of you guys still need to heal. Some of you guys still need to process things through. But also at the same time, I feel like you're moving towards your own wish fulfillments here. You have the Ace of Wands here. These are new ideas, being very creative in the month of November. But just, you know, we have the Five of Wands here. Now, I can easily say that this is this is competition. This is, uh, you know, people that are jealous of you and, and this and that. And Everything we do, no matter what, even if it's in a reading or not, there's always going to be someone that's jealous of you, right? That's just the way people are, right? There's no way we could deal with that. But I feel like intuitively with this card, and what this means also, is support. And I feel like to use, you know, ask your friends for help and support if you need to. So with the Five of Wands here, you can see it's like someone's holding up the wand, one standing on the wand. It's like everyone's working together to get to that flame here, right? So maybe you might feel like there's overwhelm, you know, you're overwhelmed and trying to get things done. But it's like, you know, bounce an idea off a friend or, you know, just vent. If you're able to vent to a friend, let, you know, vent to a friend. So try not to be alone is basically what I'm trying to say here, okay? So um, try to avoid that. And um, I feel like that's kind of your reading here, Scorpio. I mean, there's nothing... Nothing else that I can see. I will be coming out with more readings here for you guys, weekly readings. But um, if this helped or resonated anyway, please do hit that like button. And like I said, through the reading here, Five of Pentacles, try to avoid with the Five of Wands, Five of Pentacles. I would say your advice here is, you know, if you feel like you're, you know, things are not happening for you, um, let your friends help you is what I'm picking up here. All right. Try to avoid getting into this stressful energy. You know, sometimes we can't figure it out all by ourselves. We have to get help. Um, you know, and sometimes talking to a friend just clears it out. Maybe just even speaking, you know, something to someone, you get an answer like that, right? So that's kind of what I'm picking up here. All right, Scorpio, I'm going to end it right there. And until next time, we'll see you. You guys have a good one.